1. Why have red routes been introduced in major cities? To allow lorries to load more freely. To help the traffic flow. To provide better parking. To raise the speed limits. Correct answer, to help the traffic flow. Explanation, inconsiderate parking can obstruct the flow of traffic and so make traffic congestion worse. Red routes are designed to prevent this by enforcing strict parking restrictions. Driving slowly in traffic increases fuel consumption and causes a buildup of exhaust fumes. 2. Which vehicle should you allow extra room as you overtake them? Bicycle. Lorry. Road sweeper. Tractor. Correct answer, bicycle. Explanation, don't pass cyclists too closely, as they may need to veer around a pothole, drain or other hazard, be buffeted by side wind, be made unsteady by your vehicle. Always leave as much room as you would for a car, and don't cut in front of them. 3. You're following a long vehicle as it approaches a crossroads. What should you do if it signals left but moves out to the right? Assume the signal is wrong and that it's turning right. Get closer in order to pass it quickly. Overtake it as it starts to slow down. Stay well back and give it room. Correct answer, stay well back and give it room. Explanation, a long vehicle may need to swing out in the opposite direction as it approaches a turn, to allow the rear wheels to clear the curb. Don't try to filter through if you see a gap, as the lorry turns, the gap will close. 4. What do these motorway signs mean? They warn of a police control ahead. They're countdown markers to a bridge. They're countdown markers to the next exit. They're distance markers to the next telephone. Correct answer, they're countdown markers to the next exit. Explanation, the exit from a motorway is indicated by countdown markers. These are positioned 90 meters, 100 yards, apart, the first being 270 meters, 300 yards, from the start of the slip road. Move into the left-hand lane well before you reach the start of the slip road. 5. You're waiting at a pelican crossing. What does it mean when the red light changes to flashing amber? Get ready and go when the continuous amber light shows. Give way to pedestrians on the crossing. Move off immediately without any hesitation. Wait for the green light before moving off. Correct answer, give way to pedestrians on the crossing. Explanation, this light allows pedestrians already on the crossing to get to the other side in their own time, without being rushed. Don't rev your engine or start to move off while they're still crossing. 6. What does this sign mean? End of 20 miles per hour zone. Minimum speed limit 30 miles per hour. New speed limit 20 miles per hour. No vehicles over 30 tons. Correct answer, end of 20 miles per hour zone. Explanation, where you see this sign, the 20 miles per hour restriction ends and a 30 miles per hour restriction starts. Check all around for possible hazards and only increase your speed if it's safe to do so. 7. What does this sign mean? No motor vehicles. No overtaking. Two-way traffic. You have priority. Correct answer, no overtaking. Explanation, road signs that prohibit overtaking are placed in locations where passing the vehicle in front is dangerous. If you see this sign, don't attempt to overtake. The sign is there for a reason, you must obey it. 8. What does this sign mean? National speed limit applies. No entry. No stopping. Waiting restrictions apply. Correct answer, no stopping. Explanation, this is the sign for a clearway. Clearways are stretches of road where you aren't allowed to stop unless it's an emergency. Stopping where these restrictions apply may be dangerous and is likely to cause an obstruction. Restrictions might apply for several miles and this may be indicated on the sign. 9. When may you cross a double solid white line in the middle of the road? To pass a car signaling to turn left ahead. To pass a road maintenance vehicle traveling at 10 miles per hour or less. To pass a vehicle that's towing a trailer.
To pass traffic that's queuing back at a junction. Correct answer. To pass a road maintenance vehicle traveling at 10 miles power or less. Explanation. You may cross the solid white line to pass a stationary vehicle or to pass a pedal cycle, horse, or road maintenance vehicle if it's traveling at 10 miles power or less. You may also cross the solid white line to enter a side road or access a property. 10. Where would you find green reflective studs on a motorway? At slip road entrances and exits. Between the carriageway and the central reservation. Between the hard shoulder and the carriageway. Separating driving lanes. Correct answer. At slip road entrances and exits. Explanation. Knowing the colors of the reflective studs on the road will help you judge your position, especially at night, in foggy conditions or when visibility is poor.